Hey guys, Sean Bougie, SurplusFundsRiches.net. One of the things we get on occasion, uh, the type of support question we'll get, is people will ask us, what if questions? Okay, and it, it happens when folks, they get it, they've read the material, they, they're learning a new skill set, they don't want to actually do the work that's going to re result in either a yes or a no. In other words, I used to think people were afraid, for instance, to make the call because they were afraid of rejection. Okay, I'm beginning to think it's the other way around. They're not wanting to make the call because they're almost afraid of what are we? What am I going to do then if 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 I succeed? <laughs> Guys, make the call. Okay, or if you're using one, if you're one of our partners and you just you just want to research debt with the National Surplus Program, just research the debt. Okay, don't. Don't overthink it. Don't get into what if the D transferred here. That's all covered in the ebook. But we always get the what if questions. Well, what if they tell me that they don't believe me? Well, first of all, the way we do it, they're going to believe you because you're going to tell them where the money is. The way we do it, we're using structured buyouts with our money for you, right? We're buying them out, giving them money up front and more money at the back end when we successfully get it out. And we're telling them where it is. There's, they're not going to tell you you're full of crap. You're explaining where the money was or what created it. Um, and they're not going to call you a liar or anything else because it all makes sense because you're telling the truth. But we recently got one where the guy was like, well, do you have any tips and, tips and tricks on how to call? Just call them. Use the script as it's written. And here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. Guess what? You're going to be told no. You're going to be hung up on you're going to be cussed out, you're going to be yelled at, whatever. Not so much with our with our system and our script, but regardless of, of what you're doing, the first 20 calls are burns. You're going to get burned on them. You're going to burn through them. They're going to say no. It's part of the learning process. I used to run a telemarketing company. I used to own a telemarketing company years ago, early 90s. First thing I told people was, hey, people are going to tell you no. They might yell at you. People are jerks, guys. The general public is jerks. They're jerks. They might yell at you. They might argue with you. They might, they might, they might, they might, they might. Make the call. Once you get through the first 20 calls, you're going to get used to it. It's going to get a little easier. Continue to use the script as it's written. And all of a sudden, it will work. It's Murphy's Law, guys. You're going to bail because the first couple of calls are going to stay. That's how it works. Okay? also warn people. Sometimes you make the one call, the person's really easy, they say yes. You get excited, turn in the file, or if you're working on your own, you work it on your own, and then you go through 20 rough ones. And again, people give up. Guys, this is business. You're going to get told no. People are going to yell at you or treat you poorly or whatever. So what? The upside, the financial upside to this industry, the kind of money you can make in this business is worth a couple of no's or F's or whatever. Make the call.